Hello, I'm Mavis Pan. Welcome to my home. This is my backyard uh, where I live with my mother here in Brooklyn, Ships at Bay. I'd like to invite you to um, hear about my recent upcoming city project called Not Alone. I was raised and born in Taiwan. Uh, my mother was working as a housekeeper for Expect. And one of her dream is for me to become a pianist. And hopefully one day I will be a pianist, pianist and marry well. Um, so I won't be like her working as a maid. Um, so she, she will try very hard to provide me music lesson and uh, and I started my piano lesson when I was four years old. I remember she will take me on motorcycle and drive me over rain or shine to my piano lesson. And uh, she will be very mad if I don't practice piano because uh, the fee of my of one hour piano lesson equals to a whole, a whole day of wage. So she will be really upset <laughs> if I don't, I don't practice piano. So that's how I, how I started. When did you come to America? Uh, I came to America when I was almost 17. Uh, my aunt was a citizen here, and we apply immigration through her. Uh, it, takes, it, takes, it took us about 10 years, the whole process. and. Uh, my parents basically think it will be a great opportunity uh, to study here and basically for our education. So even though they don't speak English that well, we just came. And uh, definitely is, now I look back, the whole whole transition it certainly was, was challenging and difficult. And he certainly has come a long way from, 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 from then to here. How did you become a jazz pianist? I never heard jazz in my life when I was until I come here. Uh, as I said, I was I grew up in Taiwan, was classically trained, and uh, but when I first heard of jazz, I was like, whoa, what, what is this? Uh, it's language, it's harmony, it's rhythm, it's something I've never heard of. And I was very captivated by it. And uh, when my college year at NYU, I decided to to switch my major uh, to jazz piano. Um, I I was so determined to learn this music I, that I said, you know, I don't I don't care what I will end up to be. I it's something I have to do before I graduate. So I remember the day when I submit my form to transfer a major and I tell God, you know, I'm about to do this and if you want to stop me, stop me now. So I guess he hasn't stopped me since then and I, I became a jazz pianist even though it's a painful process as I know, I knew nothing about jazz back then I was, and I was the only girl, a female pianist in NYU, in my whole program filled with, well, I was with 70 white guys uh, in, in, in my department. And uh, it certainly uh, is something very difficult for me to, to learn. And it, take, it takes a while <laughs> to me to adjust. And uh, yeah. Why would God allow you to become a jazz pianist? <laughs> well, I don't think God was, uh, doesn't allow me <laughs> to. Oh, well, let me let me think about that question. Uh, let me think about it. what would God allow me? Oh, I think because He not only allowed me to be a jazz musician, He wants me to be one. Um, I th because there's uh, something very spiritual about playing jazz, even though when I back then I tell my church. Uh, Friends that I'm a jazz pianist, they'll be whoa, 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 <laughs> because they associate, associate jazz with uh, nightclub, alcohol, drugs, sex, 
Um, but to me, it's, it, the root of jazz is spiritual. If you really go back to history, understand where it's coming from, it's about those uh, slaves from, uh, from Africa and how they try to express the earning for freedom, uh, for dignity, and as they left everything behind, um, come to this country and the suffering they have, and also the joy they have when they make music. Um, and there's there is it's a new form, you know, art form that that was born in American soil when the Creole were classically trained and, and mixed with. Um, the musical traditional come from Africa. So it's, it's American music that was born in this soil. And as a, even as, as an American, me as an immigrant, I can understand the, this, the, this art form, as the pain it goes through, what does it mean to leave everything behind, come to this new country and, and restart all over and you have lost everything you were used to. Um, and start something new and are forced to create something new and uh, what it's like being um, a minority, a woman um, to try to have a voice in the society and, uh, and for me jazz is, is a spiritual art form that is not based on dogma doctrine and rules is is filled with possibility and infinite imaginations and for me that is somehow reflects my faith because I, I don't think faith is built on dogma and rules it, it is is a reflection of your relationship with God and that's that's the motivation I play music and uh, and every, everyone is, is individuality, has their individual voice. And, and uh, there's no set or pattern how you make music. Um, and I think God, everybody, God created everybody individually and everybody has, need to find that individual voice. And I find that in jazz and uh, when you improvise, the moment you improvise, there's no time and room to be pretentious. You're completely naked and vulnerable and honest. And, and that's what makes this music beautiful and truthful. And uh, so I think God not only allowed me to be a jazz pianist, but he, by, by taking on a journey, becoming a, a, a jazz pianist, I, I learned to, I learned about about him more. I've learned about more about his creation and his love for mankind and, and uh, about having a relationship with, with him. Because when I play the piano, I imagine myself pour down the perfume on Jesus' feet like Mary did. And he play with her heart and um, well, I, I play with my heart and tears as, as she poured down her, her perfume and caressing the feet of Jesus, and for me, it's very similar when I touch the piano. You, you touch with gentleness and with your heart, with your soul, um, with your love uh, for for the, for the person you love, and and uh, so for me, that is a beautiful analogy f um, with uh, with playing piano and, and worshiping God. That's really good. So why, why this album? Um, I have meant to do this album for a long time because I, um, I've, the reason I play jazz is not I, I want to be the best jazz pianist playing Blue Note and um, become famous. Uh, we won't, you are also, although you won't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> to to do do that, but uh, I just find it's a beautiful way to express myself. It's a beautiful art form, and it's it's a beautiful way to um, to express uh, my musical ideas. 
and to express my thought to God. Um, so, um, and I want to express my, my faith through this art form. And, uh, but what prevents me from doing this album is that I, I just thought I'm not, I'm not good enough yet, that my, my jazz playing is, is not still quite as good as compared to Chick Corea or Bill Evans and all that great jazz pianist. And then, and then I realized um, as people are blessed by this kind of music and the, my church members are encouraged me to do this album, um, I think I shouldn't wait until I become this great jazz pianist that I wish I could be. I can just simply be the, ba the best that Mavis can play. So, um, just like when the little boy offered his five loaves of bread um, and two fishes, I feel I can just offer whatever I have to God, including my weakness, my limitation, uh, my talents that I can give to Him and He will hopefully blast it and uh, multiply it and people will be blessed when they hear it. Um, so I think it's the time. Now is the time to do it. What, what would you like to say to those that watch the video? Um, anything? Okay, uh, this, this album is called Not Alone. And it's a solo piano album. Basically, it's me playing solo piano by myself. Uh, I get the idea, idea of the title um, from my favorite jazz pianist, Bill Evans. His first solo album is called Alone. S uh, but I think instead of feeling alone, I call it Not Alone. Because as I said, when I play piano, I imagine myself as Mary poured down the perfume on Jesus' feet. So I'm basically not alone um, when I play and there's always somebody there to listen to me play. And uh, also is, it also doc, kind of document my life as a single woman, as a composer. Sometimes I struggle with a uh, sense of loneliness and uh, my frustration or my pain and my hurts. And knowing that um, it, I'm not alone. And also, not because I have uh, a savior that is constantly watching over me, but I also have friends and brother, sister like you in my life to be with me on this spiritual musical journey along the way. So it's, it's uh, an album that we can produce collaboratively that which including you being part of this this project by supporting me and praying for me and uh, um, then that you feel that you are not alone in this project in life too that we are all this in this together so I hope um, by watching this you can be part of this project that both you and me won't feel alone. During my traveling teenage years, classical music didn't seem to ease my pain. The pressure of competitions and performing in front of panels of judges take away the joy of making music. However, I could somehow feel an explosion of joy and a supernatural connection with God when playing the piano during worship service.